Hey, what's up, guys? It's Be Light Beats coming at you with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to make the uh, signature Mike Will made it kind of eerie lead up that kind of sounds like this in the middle of an intro or wherever you want it. beat I'm working on but uh and I'll be teaching you how to make that cool tape stop effect where it just kind of scratches the beat down and then just explodes <laughs> oh. gotta love it so right now all you do with that is uh you're gonna want to put the EQ band wherever you want the effect on so right now I have it on a master channel I put a fruity parametric EQ let's just redo it so you guys um, I'll show you guys how to do it so I'm gonna be putting it on the master channel get the camera out of my face <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting it on the master channel here um, we're gonna go to the slot one left click and put in fruity parametric EQ2 um, and then you just click over a couple until you hit this right here and now this has two bandwidths and I love working with that it's a lot it's very easy to control so um, we're going to control left click highlight I'm highlighting this portion right now um, and then go back to your mixer And then you're going to want to play with this one. This is the uh, low pass or the high pass filter. Um, so you right click, create automation clip. And that's going to create an automation clip for that band right here. So if you drop this band lower, that's going to affect the audio, as you could hear, automatically hands-free if you wanted to make it a little bit longer you could drop this right here and that is that right now is dragging that up and you could also do it with the low pass filter by using this one here this bandwidth which is right here this frequency you right click or make sure you have that highlighted right there because if you don't it'll go across the whole um, song you don't want them to do that so we're gonna right click create automation clip and uh, you can make it with that one too put that one right there and that affects Hold on a second. That affects this bandwidth right here, the low pass. So it gets rid of all that low end and drops it. So that's basically all you do. And you can play around with that and make cool little effects or whatever you want to do but that's really all you do with the low pass filter to make it sound cool like that and now we're gonna move on to the tape stop effect which I put which I will put right there at the end of the drop so with that I'm gonna to go to my master track and you can put this on anything you're gonna open up the blue tape stop and I will be putting a link in the description for that it's uh, it's a free program so um, you could get it online and with that you're just gonna do the same thing you're going to uh, right click wherever you want control or left click wherever you want whatever control uh, drag and right now you're dragging to the portion you want um, go to your mixer and then go to tape stop right click create automation clip and you've created an automation clip for this section right here for the master track and we'll move that up a little bit and uh, see how that sounds
and it just kind of glides it over and to end it notice how it didn't uh it, the, the track kept going it's because we didn't close it off when you close it off that ends the trigger anytime you press that trigger that activates the tape stop effect So guys, uh, that about does it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, share it. Um, make sure to subscribe. I'll be uploading a lot of more stuff. I've been really busy with work and stuff, but um, I got a bunch of new beats coming. Um, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. So peace out. Keep making beats. Later. <laughs>